Hello everybody. In the previous videos, we have studied about ellipse and parabola. Now, we are going to read about hyperbola. Okay, let us read the question. Construct a hyperbola. Construct a hyperbola by general method in which the distance between directrix to focus is 50 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2. See here, eccentricity is 3 by 2. In the ellipse, he has given 2 by 3. Okay, but in the hyperbola, eccentricity is 3 by 2, means greater than 1. Fine. And also draw normal and tangent to the curve. And also draw normal and tangent to the curve. Now, first what to do? First, we have to draw a directrix line. First, we have to draw a directrix line. Okay. Now, that is AB. This is A and this is B. Next, mark any point C. Something like this. Okay. Now, from C, drop a line such that it is perpendicular to AB drop a line such that this is perpendicular to AB. Now, how much he has given focus, directrix to focus? He has given 50. See here. Now, what I am doing? Mark a 50 mm. Okay. Now, this is... Now, we know that E is equal to Vf by Vc. It means he has given 3 by 2. We know that CF is equal to CF is equal to VF plus VC. If the V is somewhere in between C and F. If V is in between C and F, we can write CF is equal to VF plus VC. Now, how much he has given? VF is equal to 3 plus VC is equal to 2. So, total how much? 5. So, CF is equal to 5. What do you mean by this 5? 5 means 5 equal parts here. So, luckily he said it is 50 mm. So, I have to divide 5 equal parts here. So, that is 10, 10 mm or 1, 1 centimeter. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I can divide 5 equal parts directly. Now, Vf how much given? See here, 3. Vf is equal to 3. Means from F, I have to mark 3. This is 1, 2 and 3. Yes. What about Vc? That is 2. This is 1, 2. From C, there are up to V, 2 equal parts. And from F, up to V is 3 equal parts. Total, 5 equal parts. So, V is nearer to directrix. So, what the curve what we will get? The we will get is hyperbola. If the vertex is near to directrix, the curve we will get is hyperbola. And here, everything is same as ellipse. What to do here? What to do is, take a radius Vf. Take radius Vf, V as a center, okay, V as a center, draw the curve like this. Now, this is the point E. Join CE. Join CE like this. Okay, now what I am doing, mark any point right towards the right of V. What X? Just mark any point. 1. Okay. This is 2. And this is some 3. I am assuming. Any number of points need not to be equal. Okay. Now what I am doing. From point 1. From the first point. This is the our first point. What I am doing is. Drop the perpendicular line. Up to CE. Up to CE. If it is touching to the CE. I am calling as. This is 1 dash. 1, 1 dash. Okay, now from 2, from 2, another perpendicular line, this is 2 dash. If I join this one with CE, call it as 2 dash. Now, from third point, see this is third point. Now, from the third point, drop the perpendicular line up to CE and extend below. I will call it as 3 dash. Okay, now what to do is, Take a radius 1 1 dash. 
I am writing in the right side radius radius 1 1 dash 1 1 dash okay center center is always F focus okay take radius 1 1 dash focus as center see this is our focus cut here cut the first line 1 1 dash and call it as this is P1 and P1 dash next take radius 2 2 dash take radius 2 2 dash 2 2 dash focus a center cut the curve this is P2 and P2 dash okay next take radius 3 3 dash I am writing here this is 3 3 dash the line 3 3 dash the distance okay 3 3 dash focus a center cut the 3 3 dash line both the sides this is the point P3 and P3 dash now from the vertex from the vertex join this curve like this the curve will get is hyperbola okay done the curve will get is hyperbola is this clear now let us draw the normal and tangent now everything is same mark any point q mark any point q now from q join f join qf done to this qf join the drop the perpendicular line that is at 90 degrees now from f join line this is i'll call as t okay join t and q and this is tangent t t dash extend this line now perpendicular to the tangent is what normal this is n and n dash so in this way we have drawn what ellipse sorry in the, in this way we have drawn the hyperbola and also normal and tangent so we have drawn hyperbola here okay thank you very much i hope you have understood